What is up everybody? My name is Ryan Free and welcome back to a brand new episode of Redstone Craft. <coughs> Sorry. Today guys, we are well a bit far away from spawn. Um so as you guys know, last episode, whatever that thing was, left us some coordinates and um I packed up an adventure shulker box with a bunch of food and a bunch of rockets. And I've sort of just been going at it and um yeah, we're getting really, really close. So, which way is it? That increases that, that increases that. Okay, so it's that way, I think, right? Let me look at the coordinates. Yeah, it is this way, okay. I just need to check, because I don't remember those by head. What? I'm sorry, what? What is this? How did this end up in a part of the world I have never been to? Ever. Nor would I be, because why the fudge would I go 25,000 squared blocks away from spawn? What? It looks like a temple. It reminds me of the Greek and Roman temples, in a way. Really colorful glass, but... Okay. Um, it's also absolutely huge. Okay, um, let's go for landing. See if I can land straight. I think this is the entrance, right? Makes sense. Nope. I have. Ah, I keep getting chills. Jesus. What is this crap? An ender chest there. Yeah? Are these. Oh, they're. Guardian statues. Most of the swords are broken. I don't know if that means anything. I'm just being scared. I oh no. Nope. Nope. Has he seen me? Place is absolutely fucking massive. Uh, I'm scared I'm about to get jumped. Hello. Hello. Welcome, Grandman. I'm sorry, what? I was expected? Um, I? What? I'm sorry. Um, you mean, right? You mean the one in the book? Uh, I don't think I have much of a choice here. You're saying very well, like it was a choice, like you didn't, you guys didn't just barge into my world, right? Hmm. Okay, I might not want to do that. Um, very well, my master has left you a message and a lectern to your left. 
you know I'm a bit paranoid of lecterns um, but then again this is a temple and you're sitting very close to the throne so I'm assuming you're not gonna bomb the throne <laughs> okay <laughs> okay no never mind we're good we're good to thy warrior who reads these words Thy servant of evil that lives beyond the void has ventured out of his master's fortress in the deep. For the first time in an age, the one who rules Brennefold. Wait, 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 let me pull up my notes. Brennefold was the dimension of Aaron and Ulothul. The guys who were spying on me. Okay. For the first time in age, man, and got the one who rules Brennafold has gotten involved with other realms. Okay, so there are more realms. I'm assuming I'm one of them. I don't know how I feel about that. He has set his eyes on thee. Thee, thee. I never know how to read these words. And will not rest until his will is complete. Apparently neither will you. Um, Aaron was but the first of many, and we must act swiftly to stop his master from continuing his plans. Okay, great. So I'm going to get more visitors. Like if I'm not creeped out enough already. Jesus Christ. Okay. I need that deep breath. I, the one who rules the evergreen realm of Agaetiknotter. Agaetiknotter. Okay, I need to write this name down. Agaetiknotter. Okay. Saved. Just, I need to write everything down or I won't remember this. Give unto thee this burden of bringing to four. That's some ancient English right there. That which is the ever living servant of evil, so that we may learn more of the plans of the enemy. Why does this sound like Lord of the Rings? I probably shouldn't be joking about this because I'm going to get sm smitten a bit, but my paladin, Ithia. Oh, so you're a paladin. Okay, makes sense. Uh, will guide thee from afar so that thou might follow the right path. Be through, true, through, to thyself. Hmm. God, whatever you are, thing from beyond, thing from Agetiknotter. You need to learn how to spell, mate. And the path will be open to thee. Okay. Okay. What now? You must first get to the altar. Altar. Okay. Which altar? What am I doing in an altar? Am I gonna get sacrificed to something here? I have taken a passage from the book of Or Arnar. These gods really need to learn how to spell. That explains how to unlock its gate. Okay, let me write altar is called, comes from the book of Arnar. Okay. Is that the other lectern? I'm going to assume it is. Um, did he just, did you just move? Okay, I'm going to go back to reading. Uh, the guide of summoning hmm. to summon that which lives far beyond existence in the depths of the void one must reach the altar of Ludenheimer Lundheimer sounds like German okay altar book of Arnor Lundheimer <coughs> okay next I gotta reach the altar, okay. The door which is locked requires a sacrifice, and only the wings of the creature of oblivion may open it. The hell does that mean? 
May the door behind the door is the power to bring to life that which is dead and bring to light that which in, inhabits the dark. Not sure how I feel about that. Once open, the vault cannot be closed, and once used, it can't be reused. Choose careful. You must. For with great power comes great responsibilities. You know, man, you're creeping me out. Okay. Now what? Now I must leave you as I am not allowed any further intervention. Very well. Um, what? What? Um, I don't want to stop the fire. Huh. Okay. I'm going to take these books and uh, just keep them hidden here. And, uh, wait, how do I get the altar? Where the hell is the altar? You know, these guys really don't give me much. But this thing is pretty freaking big. Scared of traps now, right? Think about. Oh, well, there's a room over there with an iron golem. And that's a lot of gold and quite a few emeralds. And one, two, three, four iron golems. Okay, this seems to be a dining table, which seems to see a king at one of the ends, some figure of importance. Okay. Oh, these are flower pots. That's creative use of a flower pot right there. What's on the other side? Is another room? Yeah, I'm really creeped out. Why is... Huh, I can't break a block. I'm sorry, am I still in vanilla? I am. But there is a room here, there has to be something, right? Yeah, this is huge. It has to have something. Oh yeah, I see stuff from these windows. So there is stuff. Oh wait, 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 wait. How the hell, which was which? Okay, I think it was the summoning light. Far beyond avoid them and the door which is locked. The door which is locked. Required. Oh, this might be a lock. Wait, let me try something. Oh, it needs a specific item. The door which is locked requires a sacrifice, and only the wings of the creature of oblivion may open it. Dragons don't drop wings. The only wings that exist in this game are elytras, right? That's not it. And what is it? Wait, phantoms. Those drop. And only the wings of the creature of oblivion. Yeah, those. That's probably phantoms um god dang it i don't have phantom membranes um uh what are we gonna do what are we gonna do what are we gonna do i can wait for night and get some phantom membranes okay we're gonna oh god um we're gonna i'm gonna go collect some phantom membranes this is gonna take a little while we'll be back okay guys yes, we're back and uh i got one phantom membrane god i hope this is enough this is annoying to get something gonna happen now i actually have to go in the middle of this but 
the right track you have chosen, but many more you'll need. Are you kidding me? These are like the most annoying things to get. Oh, how am I supposed to do this? Um, how many more? Where, where is this thing? Hello? Are you in there? Maybe by the throne? Nope. Okay, well, I don't know how many I need, but we'll definitely need more than what I can get here. Um, I'm gonna go find a good. God, uh, there's only one option here, which is building a gar... uh, farm because I have no idea how many I'll need. He isn't speaking, right? Hello. No, okay, so we gotta do this. We gotta build this. Um, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna find a spot. I'm gonna need to head back home and get more stuff. And I'm gonna find a spot near here where I can work because this is so far out. I don't have enough items. God damn it. All right, yeah, we're gonna need to fly back home and uh, get what we need to make this farm because otherwise we are completely fudged. And I actually don't know if my elytra can Oh, I can't place that here? Are you serious? Do I have an extra light right here? No, but I have fireworks. Uh, God. Uh, I think we came that way, right? I think. Is that zero, zero? Um, diminishing one, I'm not increasing or diminishing the other. That way is an increase. Okay, so that way is decreasing both. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Um, here goes a complete flyback of me getting going back home. I really hope I can get somewhere before my elytra breaks. But I have my doubts about that. I already had to replace it once. I actually lost the other. Oh no, it's actually no, it's in here, but it's broken. I don't know how I'm gonna. Oh, the other elytra has mending. That's fine then. Okay. Um, I'm gonna fly back home and uh, I'll see you once I'm somewhere I can set up. A farm for this because god these they'd have to be phantoms it just have to be i'll see you in a bit okay guys so here we are in our survival world um i picked out this spot i already have another portal and everything it's pretty secluded in the middle of the ocean it's also going to be really high up because if you don't know um the higher you are the easier it is for phantoms to reach you so it just makes the farm easier and since there's literally nothing around here when i afk this high i think at least yeah, there probably isn't. It's 120 blocks from the player, so um, you nothing else is gonna be loaded except the phantoms and me. Uh, so yeah, I got the materi materials here, and um, I'm gonna queue in one of my old tutorials and um, just with a time lapse in the background. I'm not sure how much of the time lapse I'm gonna show you guys because it's gonna be a lot longer than the tutorial was. But yeah, we're gonna get this built, and um, yeah. Uh, to the redstone world okay guys so we are in our redstone testing world and right behind me is um the phantom farm we're gonna build uh you will be seeing on the upper right corner so somewhere where how do i do this somewhere that side i'm trying to link myself uh you will see right there no wait right there yeah you will see um the time lapse going uh, for me building this but i just decided to show you guys it's a really simple farm it's by somebody named cromulus i think the link is in the description as always and um yeah i'm just gonna you i'm gonna show it to you so the farm is completely afk so you just pop in here and uh you point you open a free and you point it right there and you literally just stay here and hit it. Um, and phantoms will appear and will get killed. The reason why he says this can be a glass pane, but swords are actually really easy to break glass with. Granted, you don't even don't break anything with it in creative, but in survival you do. So at least for this middle one right here, I would use an iron bar. If you want, you can use glass planes for this one, uh, but yeah. The farm's really simple. It's an AFK. You can use a clicker. Example, the clicker I showed you guys the other day. And uh, yeah, 
I'm gonna show you how to build it really quick. All you need is uh, a choice of block. Uh, I'm using glass for everything. You do need glass for this top ring, but I'm using glass at the bottom, at least here in the testing world. I won't do it in survival, but in the testing world I will. So start by making a free by free by free um, block of solid blocks, glass, whatever you want. Then right here in the middle, put up uh, an iron bar and then bring up, these are scaffolding blocks, so don't use glass for these ones. And put iron bars on top as well. Then break your scaffolding. And come out here. Place gates all around it, so just like that. And then on the corners as well. There, 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 and now open them up and uh, yeah, now you have your base layer done. Now get more scaffolding blocks. I'm gonna use sandstone so it's not confused with glass. And I uh, just make a ring around Rosie here. All temporary blocks, of course. Use dirt and survival if you can, it just makes it a lot easier. And then more gates all around it. Make sure all your gates are open as well, because phantoms have to swoop in and catch you. Um, actually gonna open them right now. There we go. Okay, now actually, yeah, break your temporary blocks. Spray them all. Oops, don't break that. Grab your water. I'm using water bottle cuts because I'm creative. In survival, you can use ice or whatever other type of water source you want. And finally, put some glass. And this part does have to be glass. Just put some glass around here. Uh, and there you go. There you go. A very simple and easy farm. Now, all you have to do is uh, just come in here. There you go. Point yourself towards the right place and just start your auto clicker. And uh, yeah, this is a really quick and easy tutorial. Tutorial, tutorial, weird word. Uh, I'm gonna leave you with a little bit of time lapse because I don't think this is gonna be enough for an entire time lapse unless I speed it up a lot. But yeah, either cue in the music or back to survival. Okay, guys, we're back. Um, you can see I replaced the top blocks with glass just so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, I'm probably going to cap off this episode here. We built a farm uh, and we traveled so much. I literally am out of gunpowder. I don't know why. This is... The only stacks of rockets I have left are on dead boxes and I think I have half a stack in my under chest. Um... So we're just going to AFK here. I'm going to AFK here overnight. It's been a whole day of recording for you guys to notice. Because uh, traveling that far takes a while. And uh, yeah, we're going to cap this off. I'm going to AFK at the Phantom Farm. This is supposed to produce a stack of Phantom Membranes an hour. I'm going to take around three, four, st five stacks. Five stacks should be good. So I'm going to AFK for overnight with the auto clicker and see how much I get. But considering it, I, it's about an eight hour night, I should get enough phantom membranes to do, to open whatever is behind that gate. Um, I sincerely hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope I don't get murked while I'm AFK. I don't know if I can even be AFK in peace and quiet anymore. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, if you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to your channel. That's it for today, folks. I'm out. Peace.